Hello and welcome to this Discovery Day deep dive session with ArcServe and Nutanix, where you'll learn the complete ransomware prevention strategy for your data center, for your data. Thank you so much for joining us on this event. If you're here, it's because you indicated on day one of Discovery Day that you'd like to learn more about the ArcServe and Nutanix solution. We've got a great discussion lined up here today. I'll be chatting with the two experts uh, from ArcServe and Nutanix. We'll be answering all of your questions. Uh, this is going to be a short format, fast-paced event. The goal here is to help you to get all the information you need about the ArcServe and Nutanix solution and to help complete your ransomware prevention strategy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, before we get started, just a few things that you should know about this deep, deep dive session. Uh, my name is David Davis of Actual Tech Media, and I'll be serving as your moderator. Uh, everyone at Actual Tech Media has worked in IT at one point or another, and we know how tough it can be to uh, get your challenges solved in the world of enterprise IT. And to that end, we want this to be an educational event. We want to help you to solve your challenges and uh, you know deal with especially these never-ending security uh, threats and, and ransomware attacks. So we encourage your questions in the questions panel of the audience console. I see some hellos and uh, howdies coming in already from those out there in the audience, but we also want your technical questions on this topic. Uh, to that end, we'll be doing our best question prize for our $50 Amazon gift card on this session. And I'll be talking about the requirements for that here in just a moment. But first I want to call your attention to the handouts tab. And it's there that you'll find a link for the joint Nutanix ArcServe solution. Uh, you can learn more about uh, this solution, how it works, and uh, you know, check out that link for more information on the specific uh, Nutanix and ArcServe ransomware prevention solution. All right, and so I mentioned the best question prize for a $50 Amazon gift card. Prize winners will be selected and contacted after the event. You must meet the actual tech media prize policy, of course, to qualify. And with that, I'm excited to introduce you now to today's expert presenters. Uh, welcome, Sam, Director of Solutions Marketing at ArcServe, and Mark, Senior Director for Product Management at Nutanix. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and jump, jump over into a video and have a chat. Here we go. Sam and Mark, it's great to be chatting with you. Uh, let's go ahead and kick it off with our first question, and that is for you, Sam. What's the role of ArcServe solutions in addressing different kinds of ransomware attacks? I mean, talking about uh, encrypting and exfiltrating malware. Great question, David. Um, there are different types of attack, as you just mentioned, and in every type of attack, there is a different approach that security solutions and data protection solutions like ArcServe's are taking. Um, for encryption ransomware, is the ransomware which encrypts your data and asks the money for the decryption key. In that scenario, backup is their enemy. Because if you have a backup, you can restore. You don't need to pay money. Uh, you don't need a key, right? So many encryption ransomware, they come in and try to disable backups or cripple or delete them. And that's where it is very important to secure your backup infrastructure, exactly how ArcServe does together with Sophos whether for Nutanix infrastructure so for others as well. And um, that will ensure that the company doesn't need to pay ransom, just recover. Another technology that helps with that is an immutable storage, where, which is supported by ArcServe for on-premises, in the cloud, and even on the tape. The immutable storage means that backups cannot be corrupted or removed, and they can be restored. Now, for exfiltration ransomware, the approach is slightly different. What hackers do, they steal the data and then demand ransom in exchange for not publishing the data on the web. In that case, uh, in that scenario, the backup becomes not an enemy, but a target for an attack because all your data is stored in the backups. Steal the backup, you have a copy. So it is important to again secure the backup infrastructure, but for a different reason, not let hackers in. And for that specific case, immutable storage may not be as a great solution, still recommended, 
but security of the data protection infrastructure and disaster recovery infrastructure becomes paramount. I Excellent. hope this answers the question. Absolutely, yeah. So you got to protect that data and protect the backup infrastructure as well. Um, what about when it comes to preventing ransomware? Can ArcServe help when it uh, when it comes to prevention? It's a very <laughs> difficult question, a very good one. Uh, nothing can prevent ransomware 100% unless you're living in a cave. <laughs> the steps that organization takes take you further away from the attack probability. It can be, make you more secure or more ready to recover when <laughs> the ransomware strikes. Unfortunately, it's not uh, foolproof because ransomware always evolves. And so does cybersecurity and so does orchestrated recovery. What is very important is for organizations to think about this as a cohesive strategy that is multifocal and multifaceted. Um, uh, organization need to think about three areas. One, cybersecurity. And of course, everyone thinks about cybersecurity when they talk about ransomware. And it's not just uh, endpoint protection and firewalls, but also things like data loss prevention, things like um, artificial intelligence and machine learning, um, and many, many other solutions that are available in the market to address the ransomware scourge. But as I already said, nothing prevents ransomware. It can only reduce the probability of attack happening. So if attack happens, you need to be able to recover. And the ability for orchestrated recovery is what ArcServe is delivering. Uh, ArcServe delivers solutions to recover the entire systems, data on every kind of location. Of course, inside the Nutanix Cloud Platform, we have a lot of depth in that uh, area as well. And orchestrate the recovery to the point when the event is not as damaging to the organization. We deliver secure backup disaster recovery. We deliver immutable storage and many other um, technologies and functionalities that help companies to recover. The third area, often uh, downplayed or sometimes outright forgotten by organizations is that organizations will have to do things themselves as well. It's not about tools and solutions only. The processes and people involved. Um, cybersecurity training. Uh, disaster recovery exercises, multi-factor authentication, all of this needs to be done by the organizations and constantly relooked at until uh, they are more uh, secure and more confident that they can repel it an attack or recover from it. Excellent points. Well, well said there. There's no silver bullet for ransomware. Uh, you got to have a multi-factor, multi-faceted uh, uh, solution to this multi-faceted, yep. you know, attack. Um, next question over to you, Mark. And I mean, really similar question here. How can Nutanix help to offer protection against ransomware? Yeah, just like Sam says, there, there is no solution that is 100% uh, detection against, against ransomware, against uh, the, the bad guys getting in. But uh, the Nutanix platform definitely has uh, multiple capabilities built in um, to, to help you build that, those, those layers of defense. Um, I actually just wrote a blog to, together with Johina uh, that you can find on Nutanix.com where we go into more of these these details. Uh, but just to mention a few of the um, of the products and features and functionality that Nutanix provides that help you basically design that defense, right? Um, we have a product called Flow, which is um, a network security, right? So you can set up policies that prevent... Um, network traffic to come into virtual machines or that uh, prevents certain uh, uh, certain types of network policies or network traffic go east west between virtual machines and so on so really reducing the vectors of attack uh, you need a hard hardened platform right we have spent a lot of cycles within engineering to make sure that aos and aav are hardened and have all of the security clearances um, used in the u.s federal sector for instance um, we provide um, worm capabilities with our object solution, uh, our S3 compatible storage solution, um, where you can, like Sam explained, where you can lock down uh, certain backups, certain objects for a particular period of, of time. And even the backup administrator themselves or the objects administrator cannot delete those, cannot change those times and so on. So the backups are really secure for that period of time. 
Um, network segmentation, once again, it comes down to flow, right? Setting up uh, your network design so your 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 application virtual machines cannot talk to your infrastructure, cannot reach your backup. So there's always multiple layers over there. Our back is built in. Multi-factor authentication, of course, is built in. Um, of course, don't use AD for your backup credentials. It, it, uh, it's very fast, right? Um, another area where we are working together between our server and Nutanix is the development of what we call instant recovery, right? Being able to recover really quickly without having first do, having to do a full data copy of the back from the backup source back to your primary infrastructure so you can restart applications immediately rather than having to wait hours and hours or days and days for the entire data set to be uh, to be hydrated back. But yeah, in summary, lots of different areas of technology need to work together. And that's why I'm really happy working with ArcServe on this uh, to really make it as foolproof as possible. Excellent, yeah, a lot of different technology there. Thank you. Uh, and then Sam, back to you. Uh, how can ArcServe protect the Nutanix Enterprise Cloud Platform? Great question. We have worked with Nutanix for years, uh, developing a lot of protection for different types of infrastructure. Of course, we protect workloads in EHV. We can back up Windows and Linux virtual machines. Uh, we also can protect Nutanix files uh, from data loss. And all of these can also be, of course, integrated with orchestrated recovery capabilities of ArcServe. Uh, we can do instant recovery that Marx has just mentioned. We also have capabilities like virtual standby, where we can have a standby copy of a virtual machine. And if something happens with the production, we can quickly uh, spin it up. We also have things like assured recovery, ability to test the disaster recovery uh, automatically when the machine is being spun up, check that it is working, shut down, and then the report goes to the uh, administrator. Um, all these capabilities for files, for um, uh, AHV, they integrate in a single uh, user interface where all other platforms can also be protected for the entire infrastructure. Um, ArcServe sort of also can use objects as a data storage for the backup, so we can put the backups there and then they can be locked, uh, what was uh, Mark is explaining and that lock will ensure that the backups cannot be deleted or modified by the ransomware. Excellent, I like that. And <laughs> Sorry. And most importantly, all of this is protected by industry-leading cybersecurity from Sophos, top-notch technologies, AI, machine learning, ransomware prevention and decryption, and many others protect the entire life cycle of backup and disaster recovery with ArcServe. Very nice, very nice. And Mark, I know Nutanix talks a lot about you know hybrid cloud. How does the Nutanix strategy really kind of complement what ArcServe is doing? Uh, basically, what Nutanix is, it has built until now is is a platform that manages your workloads independent from location. Right? If you look at your legacy data uh, data centers, there was a lot of technology there that um, to manage you have to use many consoles. Troubleshooting was very cumbersome. Scaling up, scaling out was very cumbersome and, and so on. So when Nutanix came to life about 10, 12 years ago, we built that one platform that manages your storage, your storage networking, your compute, your virtualization, all from one interface. We make it extremely simple to deploy, extremely uh, simple to, to manage from a day-to-day -day perspective, um, extremely simple to, to scale out as well. And the things like upgrading of the of all of the components from BIOS and chipsets and and um, all of those components we have orchestrated. We can do rolling upgrades without meaning downtime um, for your uh, for your uh, application infrastructure. Basically, going to the public cloud, um, you uh, they have solved a lot of, a lot of those. Um, um, pesky little things of like managing your physical infrastructure, uh, but it is a completely new tool set, right? If you look at AWS or Azure, you have to learn a completely different tool set from what you're using from on-prem uh, to be able to, to make use of all of those components. Nutanix really now is, is merging the best of both worlds, right? We provide one platform that allows you to manage on-prem uh, workloads as well as workloads running on the public cloud. Um, and we have a uh, capability of, of migrating, of moving those, those, uh, those workloads from on-prem to the public cloud and back, depending on 
cost profiles depending on variability variability and seasonability right um sometimes it makes sense to keep things on prem from a security perspective but sometimes you want to be able to to scale out into the public cloud and make use of those resources in case you very quickly need to scale up scale out so all in all um, one platform to manage both your on-prem data centers as well as your 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 uh, public cloud infrastructure to make your life super easy. Absolutely, yeah. I know so many companies out there are dealing with just tremendous complex complexity, and this sounds like a, a solution that could dramatically simplify their life and give them the you know scalability and efficiency that they need. So, uh, very cool. Uh, let's move on. Next question for you, Sam. Uh, does ArcServe offer total hardware solutions and what models do you offer when it comes to hardware? Great question. Yes, we absolutely do. Um, a lot of our customers has voiced that desire to have a total solution that only not only has the features and functionality of the software, but also includes storage and capabilities for disaster recoveries. That's why we have ArcServe appliances um, designed for disaster recovery and backup. As, uh, unlike many solutions that are available in the market focused only on one backup or DR, these are combined solutions fully integrated designed for both. The models range from uh, modest 12 terabytes of the storage capacity um, with a single CPU all the way to three petabytes uh, in a single package with 56 cores and one terabyte of RAM to serve the needs of any organizations from mid-market to all the way to the, uh, large enterprises, uh, whether they want to um, protect uh, single infrastructure or multiple infrastructures. And of course, Nutanix is deeply integrated. It will be just uh, one more box next to the Nutanix cluster, fully integrated, backing up HV, backing up files, and uh, storing immutable store, uh, backups in the objects. Um, so the models are all designed for uh, different kinds of uh, environments and also growing environments. Majority of these appliances, they can be expanded in place uh, without any additional cabling and boxes or anything like that. And uh, last but not least, what I wanted to mention is for our on-site support in the most of urban locations, uh, most of the continental United States. So in four hours, if something hardware help is required, the engineer will be on site to assist. Excellent. I, I love that scalability because so many companies are dealing with just massively growing data sets. I mean, data never seems to shrink in size. Next question for you, Sam. I know you mentioned Sophos. So why did ArcServe join forces with Sophos to deliver orchestrated ransomware recovery? Great question. ArcServe has been around for 38 years. All this time we were focusing on data protection, delivering best disaster recovery solutions to our customers. What we didn't do during those years is deliver uh, design cybersecurity solutions. So instead of trying to deliver a single thing uh, or one feature that may or may not be useful in different scenarios, we decided to join forces with the industry leader Sophos, who targets uh, very similar segment. They are industry leader. They have one of the best technologies in the market. And there was a lot of other synergies uh, from commercial to technological. So we joined forces with Sophos and immediately jumped to the high level proven technologies by the vendor who is also on the market for 30 plus years. By joining forces, instead of trying to develop basic functionality by uh, on our own, we are capable of delivering top-notch solutions to our customers. And we are talking about dual anti-malware engines, technologies that can reverse ransomware like um, CryptoGARP and WipeGuard and tons of others that uh, already delivered along with ArcServe solutions by virtue of the alliance with Sophos. And just to answer that, and I completely agree with Sam, right? It's like, especially in, in, in the current era of, of ransomware, uh, backup and security, they really go hands in hand, right? It's, it's this detection that is, that is absolutely paramount to, to be able to, uh, to be able to very quickly respond to, um, certain things happening in your organization and having that, that, that security built into, uh, into the, 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 the solution basically helps you. Um, have that immediate uh, prevention, that immediate detection. So very happy to see that that's uh, that's 
Sophos and Arcsop are working together on this and uh, basically preventing Nutanix environment even better. Absolutely. Yeah, it seems like a great, you know, partnership all, all around, uh, huge benefits for IT professionals out there. Um, Sam, what about the latest trends in ransomware? What are you seeing? Oh, it's quite scary. If you talk about pandemic in the IT world, um, one of the very uh, scary statistics from the last few quarters is the report by Sophos Labs. We have uh, recently also um, started seeing in the last four quarters, starting from Q4 2019 to Q3 2020, the average ransom payout grew from $84,000 to $233,000. It's almost tripled. Wow. For average ransom payout. Why did it happen? Because hackers became targeted. They go after companies they know, they know their revenue, they know their executives, they know their owners, and they know how much they can pay. They would usually target from one to 5% of the annual turnover. Uh, so a company making $1 billion um, would be asked for 10 to $50 million. Recently, Acer has uh, just been in the news and the ransom demand is 50 million. It's not uh, that, oh, pay us half a Bitcoin as it was before. Now they know what they go after and they know what money they can make. Um, another th uh, thing to understand is that um, these hackers are very often not programmers, not even cybersecurity specialists. They are criminals. And that trend is supported by ransomware as a service. You have heard about software as a service, backup as a service. It's exactly the same thing. What uh, makers of the ransomware do, they publish their code on the dark web and anyone can go up and sign up and pay those programmers royalties and then just carry out attacks. So these criminals are more specialists in social engineering or finding the route to attack versus being cybersecurity gangs. Um, another quite crazy trend we have observed recently is customer support hotlines. Hmm. So when the prompt comes up and says your data was encrypted, pay us this money, uh, uh, you know, in so many days your data will be gone. There would be uh, another prompt saying, if you have any problems paying, please call this number and we will help you. <laughs> this is how brazen uh, the criminals have become. And this kind of escalation um, is not expected to be stopped. Ransomware business is a multi-billion dollar business. It is only set to grow. Um, and that scourge needs to be stopped by the companies refusing to be victims. Wow, some incredibly scary times for us as IT professionals responsible for protecting our company's data. Um, let's talk now about uh, this question. In addition to Nutanix, what other kind of environments does ARC serve unified data protection safeguard? Great question. And um, very, very important ones. We have noticed that many of our customers who use Nutanix as cloud platform, they still have legacy systems and other uh, tools that they used in their uh, disposal. And um, unlike many other solutions in the market, we don't have any separate interface to protect other platforms. And those other platforms uh, could be VMware, could be Microsoft Hyper-V uh, on a virtual front. Then we protect Windows and Linux uh, physical systems. We protect uh, cloud infrastructure such as AWS um, and Azure workloads because those are not automatically backed up by Amazon or Microsoft. They need to be backed up as well. Uh, file service can be backed up. Exchange, SQL, SharePoint, Active Directory. Um, up to 300 platforms we support. One of the very important ones I wanted to mention is Microsoft Office 365. Uh, as with AWS and, and Azure, Microsoft does not back up uh, Office 365 on their own. There are some technologies to prevent data loss accidental, but at the end of the day, Microsoft is very clear that customers, the users are responsible for the data. And one of those responsibilities is recovery. So backup is paramount. Yet still a lot of companies think Microsoft will do everything for them. 
while Microsoft is very, very clear they don't. It's great to hear that ArcServe has such a, a complete data protection offering. I like that. Um, before we wrap up here, you know, just final question. I know we're running out of time. Uh, Sam, where can IT professionals find more information about ArcServe solutions specifically for the Nutanix Enterprise Cloud Platform? Great question. So they can find a lot of uh, great information on our website, arcserve.com, as well as on Nutanix's website, nutanix.com slash arcserve. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you so much, Sam and Mark. Great having you on. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. And thank you to everyone out there in the audience for joining us on the webinar today. For more information, visit nutanix.com and arcserve.com. Have a great day.